Okay, so we want to find the angle of twist of end A with respect to D. So that's right here with respect to the wall. So really that's just the angle of twist of AB plus the angle of twist BC plus the angle of twist in CD equals the total angle of twist from A to D. We have to add all those up separately because they are each separate sections, different geometries, different materials, whatnot. And we also want to find the maximum shear stress in each shaft. Okay. So we're given AB is an aluminum with a thin wall cross section. BC is titanium and it has a triangular cross section. And CD is steel with a circular cross section. Okay, so this first step is to find out what's the torque in each segment. So all these are given in kip feet. I'm going to multiply them by 12 to get them in kip inches. So the 7 really becomes 84 kip inch. 73 times 12 becomes 876 kip inch. And 175 becomes 2100 kip inch. So you could do a free by diagram of each segment and find the torque that way. Or you can just do a torque diagram, which is what I prefer to do. So there is some applied torsion at this wall here at D, and we don't know what that is. We could sum torque to find that. Or it'd be easier, just start from the free end at A. So we're going to start off, I'm going to call this left negative and to the right positive. So this 84, which is really kind of, it's not going to the left, but it's twisting in that direction. So I'm going to go a negative 84. And nothing happens till we hit here. And we're going to go 8, negative 84 minus 876. Put us at a negative 960. Keep going over. Now that's going with the right, so it's a positive 2100, which puts us up at 1140. And then at the wall, we know we have to finish at zero, back to zero. So that means the torque in AB is this negative 84. The torque in BC is negative 960, and the torque in CD is going to be a positive 1140, and all those are going to be kip inch. So let's start with AB. So angle of twist of AB, or for any thin wall section, is TL over 4 times the area mean squared times G times the path integral of DS over the thickness. But we're going to write that for any known shape. It's really just TL over 4 area mean squared G times the mean perimeter over thickness. So we have mean in several areas. So if and this isn't to proportion at all. So say this is our cross section. The mean would just be this line right in the middle. So we're given that this side here is 6 inches and this is 4 inches. So the mean width here from there to there, we're getting rid of half the thickness on this side and half the thickness on this side. We're given that the thickness is one quarter inch or just 0.25. So 
it's going to be 4 minus half the thickness twice. So 4 minus 2 times 0.25 over 2 gives us a mean width of 3.75. And it's the same thing for the height. The mean height is just going to be the height, the 6 inches, minus half of the thickness on either side. So we get 5.75 inches. So my area mean is just based on site, 5.75 times 3.75 gives us 21.5625. Our perimeter mean is 2 times 5.75 plus 2 times 3.75. That gives us 19 inches. So the angled twist of AB is our torque. We said that's a negative 84. It's not really negative, but we're going to keep that with it so that we know which way it's twisting. Because AB and BC will twist one way and CD will twist the other way. So that will be important to note that they're not all going the same direction. We don't just add up all the positives. The length, it is 7 feet, which is 84 inches. over 4 times area mean squared, 21.5625 squared, times G, that is 3,700. Now, we're using KSI here, because everything else is in inches, and that 84, that's in kips, or kip inch, really. So we have to use KSI. times the mean perimeter, 19, over the thickness, we said the thickness of the cross section is 0.25. So we get the angle twist, AB, is a negative 0 0.07793 radians. We'll go ahead and find the max shear stress developed, so the shear stress of AB, or any thin wall cross-section, is going to be the torsion, torque, divided by 2 times the thickness, times the area mean. Our torque equals an 84, and here the negative doesn't really matter, it's not like you could have a negative shear stress here, unless you're just trying to denote direction by 2 times the thickness of 0.25. We said the area mean is 21.5625. So we get a shear stress of 7.79 KSI. Okay, so we've got angle twist AB and shear AB. So now we'll go ahead and do the same thing for BC. Say so triangular cross section. So those formulas are given to you on your formula sheet. To go up here, it's right here. And note that that A there and there is the length of one of the sides, not the area. So for that triangular cross-section, we have a torque of negative 960. Okay. So torque BC equals negative 960. And one of the sides A is 12 inches. So 
So the angle of twist of BC, that equation is given as 46 TL over A to the fourth G. So 46 times our torque of negative 960 times the length it is 4 feet or 48 inches. A, we said that is going to be one of the sides, 12 inches to the fourth, times our G shear modulus, that is 6400, and that's in KSI. So we get negative 0 0.01597 radians. And then the shear stress, we're given that equation as well as 20t over a cubed. So we get 20 times the torque of 960 divided by 12 cubed. That gives us 11.11 KSI. And then finally, we're going to do the same thing for section CD. It's a circular cross section, so we know those formulas. So our torque for CD was a positive 1140 kit pinch. So we know angle twist for any non thin tube circular cross section is TL over JG. So our torque, 1140. It's three feet or 36 inches. J, that is pi over two times radius outer to the fourth. Our diameter is seven inches, so a radius of 3.5. times our shear modulus, 11,000 KSI. So we get 0 0.01583 radians. And finally, our shear stress. That we know is just T rho over J. So if it wanted to find the minimum shear stress, it would be zero because we could plug in zero for rho because it's a solid shaft. But it wants to find the maximum, so we're gonna plug in our outer radius. So we have a torque, 1140, times rho, outer radius, 3.5, over j, we have pi over two, times 3.5 to the fourth. That gives us a shear stress of 16.93, KSI. And then finally, we're going to add up all of our angle twists. So angle twist from A to D is going to be AB, which is a negative 0 0.07793 plus BC, which is a negative 0 0.01597 plus CD, which is a positive 0 0.01583. And we get our final angle twist. And my Apple Pencil just died. Give it one second here. Final angle twist. Well, needs one more second. Well, it, it's going to take a second, but our final angle twist ends up being a negative 0 0.07807 radians.